Up next on End of the Day Beer Review, we're looking at another one by Boulevard Brewing. This is actually Bourbon Barrel Quad. It's a barrel aged ale and it's coming in at 12.2% ABV. Check it out. Hi everybody, it's Rich and welcome to End of the Day Beer Review. Uh, if you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll subscribe. Um, what I'm looking at today is going to be by Boulevard Brewing Company, which we looked at uh, last week, I think. We were looking at their Churro Grande, which was outstanding. Today we're going to be looking at a Bourbon Barrel Quad. And this is a barrel aged ale and it's coming in at a pretty heavy ABV of 12.2%. So let's crack this one open and let's see what it's like. Now I am using a style glass, which is probably the wrong glass for this. Um, it's an ale, I wasn't sure what it would be like. It does appear that you can see through this a little bit, but let's give it a pour. All right, so this is a nice caramel colored beer. Uh, in fact, that's definitely like one of those colors I like when I see in a beer, something you can't really see all the way through. Uh, there is a lot of carbonation on this one. In fact, it's fizzing up. This glass is clean and yet I'm getting a tremendous amount of carbonation here. Um, not much of a head. The head is sort of uh, very, very pale white, maybe a little bit of tan to it, but for the most part, this is a nice, dark, caramel-colored ale. Um, I'm not getting a huge amount of aroma. Hmm. As I put my nose to the glass, I'm getting almost a, a, a note of caramel, which is sort of nice. There's sort of a sweetness to the nose on this one, which I'm sort of surprised I wasn't expecting that. Although, you know, barrel aged, I wonder what it was actually, oh, bourbon barrel quad. So uh, I am slowly starting my journey into uh, bourbon right now. So this was brewed and bottled by Boulevard Brewing Company. Please enjoy best by November 15th, 2024. So this is reasonably fresh. Uh, today is the beginning of April. So yeah, I'm definitely getting sort of sweetness. I'm getting some of those hints of, uh, of bourbon. I couldn't name the bourbon for you. I, I just don't know bourbon that well yet. I hope to one day. Hmm, a nice sweet aroma to it. A little hint of that smokiness, that char that comes with a, a good bourbon. But I'm getting almost like a, a caramel sweetness to it. Um, maybe a burnt sugar there. Okay, let's see. Uh, most important thing, how's it taste? Mm. This is very nice. This is like you're drinking a very sweet, very, well not very, a sweet, nice, light version of bourbon. Um, so you're getting the bourbon, you're getting a certain amount of heat to this as well as you drink it. Not as much as you would obviously if you're drinking a, a 90 or 100 proof bourbon, um, but you're definitely getting some warmth to this. Uh, there is a little bit of caramel or toffee flavor to it, maybe burnt sugar there, but the overwhelming flavor I'm getting is the bourbon. And it's nice, it's not overwhelming, it's not killing your taste buds. It's sort of lingering on the back of the tongue, which is really nice. The carbonation here has, has gone mostly away, even as I swirl it. I'm not getting much, I'm getting a little bit. Um, that is very good. Um, it's almost like drinking a nice light type of bourbon. Um, you're getting all the flavor along with a little bit of sweetness, a really nice sort of burn in the stomach, which is quite enjoyable. Um, I, I think Boulevard did it again. You know, so far, excuse me, carbonation is there. So far, everything I've tried from Boulevard has been very good. Uh, this does not seem to be a limited re release, so I'm actually excited to go out and look for this and get some more. Um, but this is really nice, a sweetness to it. Um, the flavor of the barrel is there. There's a certain charred flavor to it, an oakiness, um, you know, that, that sort of smokiness that's there. The flavor of the bourbon with a little bit of sweetness. This is excellent. Um, 
You know, and for 12 too, I, I have to say, it's not as overwhelming in the alcohol area as, as I thought it would be. I thought 12%, you would definitely feel more of a, an overt alcohol burn, but that's not what's here. What's here is this nice sort of delayed bloom of warmth in your stomach. So it's, it's really very, very nice. Uh, and like I said, this is a nice caramel colored, um, you know, ale. There's not a tremendous amount of carbonation. It's really, really nice. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is very good. So if you're a bourbon fan, if you're a bourbon barrel aged beer fan, I think this is one that you're gonna like. Um, there's nice notes of sweetness, of smoke, of that sort of bourbon flavor to it. It coats the tongue nicely. It's not overly thick or viscous. Uh, it, it's sort of light. It, there's actually a surprising crispness to it. Um, the carbonation sort of makes your mouth do just a little bit of sort of a, a dry, like a type of moment, which just causes the flavor to really come out even more. Uh, this is an uh, this is an excellent beer. Um, did I like it better than the Churro Grande? No, so far. Out of everything I've tried from Boulevard, I think the Churro Grande has been my favorite, but this is a, a very solid contender uh, right up there near the Magic Drip um, or the S'mores version that they put out that I had last year. This is an excellent beer. Um, if you get a chance, I would definitely look for this. Uh, and again, this is not a limited release, so I think you can pick this up with uh, reasonable ease. And this is uh, Boulevard's, uh, this is Boulevard Brewing Company's Bourbon Barrel Quad, and it is a barrel-aged ale, and it is coming in at 12.2 ABV. And I gotta tell you, uh, this is one I would go out and get. Uh, this is very good, very enjoyable, a really nice beer. Uh, one of those ones that you're going to sit back and you're going to sip. I could really see this with a nice meal, uh, you know, of basically anything that you're going to put in front of you. Um, I, I would think more towards like, you know, steak, burger, something like that. But this is a really, really lovely beer. And once again, from Boulevard Brewing Company, I can highly recommend checking this one out. Anyway, folks, I hope you've enjoyed the review. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, uh, throw a comment down there. If you've tried something else from Boulevard, I'd love to hear about it. And uh, I'm going to go back and enjoy the rest of this one. Good night and cheers.